juicy it's tender it's flavorful it's a steak egg and cheese breakfast bagel sandwich let me show you how easy it is to make y'all stay tuned What's good, my YouTube fam? How are you today? I hope everyone is doing spectacular. I am back with another video for you guys. As you can see, I have my trusty favorite pan. And today we are about to cook up a really quick but yet delicious breakfast sandwich, okay? Today we are doing steak, egg, and cheese breakfast sandwich. So, this is going to go real quick. It's easy peasy pumpkin pie, y'all. You know I like easy stuff. Okay, so what we're about to do in our favorite pan is we're going to drop in some butter. We're dropping in butter today. Hope you guys got a good angle. I'm so mad because my other tripod broke. So now I'm using like this new tripod and I hope that... Um, you guys get a good angle of this food. So here you go with some butter. All right. And actually not 100% butter. It's um, the um, country crock uh, margarine, actually. Because you can use margarine for this recipe. It's still going to be delicious. Okay, so now your butter is nice and melted. So what I went ahead and did prior to starting the video is I chopped up a little bit of green pepper and a little bit of onion so we are going to toss in those vegetables of course gonna turn my fire up a little bit more get these bad boys searing off so I'm just gonna get these vegetables nice and soft and after that's nice and soft, then I am going to, of course, incorporate the steak meat. Matter of fact, you know what, y'all? You know what I'm about to add? I'm about to take this up a whole nother notch. Okay, let me see. We are going to add some... Mushrooms. So let me rinse a few of these off. I forgot I had mushrooms, y'all. I forgot I had these mushrooms in here. You know, you got to use mushrooms before they get bad. So this would be a perfect recipe for it. Not too many. I'm kind of just crumbling it up with my hand as I'm tossing them in because I don't want huge super huge chunks okay kids do not dig in a hot pot at home I am a trained professional do not dig in the pot <laughs> okay so let's give this a nice toss Smelling good already, y'all. It's something about it's something about green peppers and onions, like sauteed green peppers and onions. It smells so freaking good. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is just let these uh, vegetables sear off to my liking, and I will be back to show you guys the next step. Okay, my YouTube fam, I am back. So now that these vegetables are midway done, I am going to go in with a all-purpose seasoning. I just created, let me push it back. That's just like a truck full of different seasonings. Onion powder, garlic powder, um, slap your mama, black pepper, um, just a ton of stuff. I like to do this. And it's also like a hint of brown sugar in here. I like to do this because it's easier for me when I'm cooking. Just to have all the seasonings in one. I love doing that. Okay, so now. 
we got our veggies all nice and seasoned up. So now, let's move these to the back. Okay, I'm going to push all those to the back. And let those finish getting nice and seared. And now what we're about to do is go in with some 100% real steak meat. Okay? 100% real steak meat right here. So what I'm going to do is just take my hand and I'm just going to put that in there like that. And like that. And this does not take, this steak meat does not take long at all, y'all, to cook up. Okay? Breaking it up like that. Okay? Get every little drop out of here. Alright. Wash my hands up. Hope you guys can see that steak. Okay, so now what we're going to do is go in with our all-purpose seasoning on the steak also, of course. Okay. And let's give that a nice little, see how it's starting to brown already? Make sure y'all can see that. Okay. And we just want to give that a nice toss. You'll know when this steak is done. Um, you'll be able to tell when it's done. Basically, when all the pink disappear, y'all, your steak is good. So I'm about to let me check my vegetables back here. Okay, and it is okay if your spatula that touched this raw steak touches your vegetables because at the end of the day, we bring in both of these together. To form a beautiful marriage. It's all good. You ain't going to get no salmonella. You ain't going to get nothing like that. So here is some more butter I'm putting in there. Okay. Bye out. Let's get that. See how that steak meat? Look at that. It's almost done. So now that that steak meat is midway done. I'm sorry, y'all. I got to get my other utensil. So I can really get into it. Might be a little bit of scraping. Okay. So now, take your vegetables and let's combine everything together now. Now we about to combine everything together. Now we about to make some music right now. Okay. Combine all of that. Smelling good in here. Simple, easy, delicious breakfast sandwich, y'all. Quick and easy. Ain't no need to go to McDonald's. Grab you some steak meat. And if you, um, you know, and if you don't have 100% pure steak meat, you know, you can use steakums. Use some steakums. You know, I just, I mean, I'll eat steakums. I don't, that's really not my, I really don't like the taste of steakums. I really don't. But, I mean, I eat it. I just have to season the crap out of it. Steakums just got, like, this weird taste to me. I don't know. But, um, look at that, y'all. Almost done. Okay, let me taste this meat and see. Mmm, okay. I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. Mmm, mmm. A little bit more seasoning. And now since this is midway done, we are going to start toasting our bagels. Let's put our steak meat on. Okay, my YouTube fam, I'm sorry my camera cut off because my memory is running low. So I just wanted to show you guys that I'm about to not cook these eggs on the stove, but I'm actually going to cook these in the microwave because I want that fluffy egg kind of taste um, that you get when you, you know, order your sandwich from Mickey D's or whatever. So 
I'm about to microwave these and I have my bagels nice and toasted and buttery and we have our um, steak meat. This is just regular American yellow cheese, nothing fancy. So I will be back to show you guys the finished results. Okay, my beautiful YouTube fam, here is the finished product. As you can see, that egg came out so fluffy. I'm telling you, that's a major key. Make it in the microwave, it comes out so fluffy. You can see the green peppers, the onions, the mushrooms, that cheese. You could pair it with some fresh avocado. I'm just pairing it with some fresh tomatoes here. Drizzle it with a little bit of salt and pepper. But this is the finished product, guys. Quick, easy, simple recipe I just wanted to share with you guys. Or a quick breakfast idea. I love you all. Can't wait to see you in the next video. Everybody stay safe and stay blessed.